work. Time to sit back on wide and watch some TV. Let's see what's up. Very difficult for us. So yes, we really look at the details. By adding more people. ESPN never let me down. Let's see what's going on with ESPN. All I don't know what's, what's going on. I don't know what to watch, man. I'm trying to watch something that's going to help me. That's inspirational. Get back and uh, help me be a good daddy. Better father. What can I watch? Anything in mind, man? Let me see. I know what I can watch. Just me and my boys. Make sure you tune in and subscribe, Daddy, I'm from Daddy, yes. And then to Daddy, yes. Daddy, yes. I'm from Daddy, yes. What's going on, man? How y'all doing, man? It's me. I'm back, man. Um, we got another fun episode today. Another good, inspirational episode today. Um, but first, before we do anything, I need you to start what you're doing. Subscribe and hit the subscribe button. Let's get the word out about this Good Father Movement. So start what you're doing and subscribe. Today is one of the most inspirational shows that I think I'm going to do um, so far. So far, because uh, this show is about voting. Voting, voting is one of the one of the uh, most important things you can do in your life. Voting is a way you can make change. I got this trusty wallet right here, and um, what's the most important thing that's in this wallet I got? It's not my credit card. It's not my identification. It's not even my um, bank card or business cards or the picture of my kids. The most important thing I got in this wallet is my voter's registration card. That's the most important thing I got in this wallet. Because with this card right here, I can make a change. With this card, my voice can be heard. With this card, I can see things happen in my community. But in order for me to do so, I have to exercise my right to vote. I come from a community where, you know, we feel like we're forgotten. We feel like our, our votes don't matter. And um, we look back and forth, we just see just poverty. We, we just, we don't see any changes. We can affect the changes we see in our community. And part of, uh, of addressing those changes is going out to vote. I can't really tell you how many people where I come from I knew voted. And that's the mentality that's being spread throughout our, through our kids. So we have to do a better job with letting our children understand how important it is to vote. Times have changed. Things are not what it used to be, but thank God those people went through it in order for us to walk freely to the polls and exercise our rights. Voting is not just for a particular group of Americans. Voting is for every American. If you're an American citizen, voting is for you. Where I come from, you know, people don't really believe in the power of voting. People don't believe in um, the effect that voting can have. But if we all come together and understand what affects these decisions, which is the governors and the and the um and the senators that's in the seat in our state, that's what really affects our community. So um people have gotten beaten, people have lost their lives, um, the big march, all for the right to exercise their constitutional right. That that was a major part of history and that I'm grateful. I can I can tell you I never got a chance to see my own parents vote. So I kind of didn't know how important it was to vote. So it's important for me to start that off with my children and taking my children to the polls with me and letting them understand how important it is to exercise this right. We've been through some, some crazy times in our history. Definitely as African Americans, we've been through crazy times, but now is the time for us to really get together and go vote. So in this episode, you're gonna see me take my younger son, Jordan, to go vote and uh, let him enjoy the experience and, and see what it's like. And um, 
let him understand how it goes and let him understand how important it is. We're gonna have conversations about, you know, the history of voting. And, you know, this is what about teaching our kids, teaching them things that um, that's gonna help them in the long run and then they can pass on to their kids. So I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm about building legacies. It starts with me and hopefully it ends with one of my great, great, great grandkids. So let's go to the episode and let's go see how much fun we have voting. And um, let's see the learning experience. Now, excuse me while I take this card right here and I go exercise my rights and I'm finna go make a difference. See y'all. We're hanging out today and uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go vote. Um, I'm taking Joy with me to go vote. You finna see, he been with me before, but you know, he missed it once. But you know, today we finna go to the voting polls and cast our ballots and and see why it's important for us to vote and that was a good conversation about voting and the history of voting and fathers our kids understand um how important things are by watching us and not just fathers but parents so if we stress to them the importance of voting and you know give them reasons why it's important to vote then it's, a, it's only right that they take that with them as they grow old and they teach their kids so let's go off to the voting polls and cast our ballots. I ain't gonna tell you what I'm voting for though. All right, Jordan. Go on and vote, man. You know how old I was when I first voted? How old I was when I first voted? I was, I think, 20 when I first voted. Well, I was, I was, I was 20 when I first voted. I ain't believe in voting. I always felt like the, uh, they gon' they gon' the the government or whatever is gonna pick who they want to win anyway. So, you know, I never I never really took voting serious. I, why do you think that the government gonna Because it's it's conspiracy, man. Like, you know where where we come from in a in a black community, in a urban communities, like history. In history, blacks have just struggled with voting. Like, even during um, the 15th Amendment was uh, was introduced in uh, 1870. In 1870, they introduced the 15th Amendment. And the 15th Amendment basically just said, you know, nobody can be denied the, uh, well, no man, no man can be denied the opportunity to vote because of his race or, or his uh, color. But, but then, the, so it's just the team is stuff that they do a really hard test. Yeah, yeah, so, so you know, so, of course, you know, back then, blacks wasn't real literal because a lot of them wasn't allowed to be. So, you know, they weren't allowed to read and they weren't allowed to write, you know, because most of them were slaves. And you know, whenever you try to do any of those things, like something happened to you. And part of you know the history of African Americans, the slaves, is to keep them down. So you know, we got to make sure they don't—they're not learning nothing, they're not teaching nothing, and they always kept them in a, in a in a small community. So you know, that's that's the history of it, man. Like they just didn't want us to rise at no point you know what i'm saying so i never looked at it that deep i just said ah whatever whatever man i don't want to vote even though you know people died literally died and got beaten for my right to vote as a african-american people in my community still don't feel like it's it's necessary that they're going to pick whoever but you know I stopped looking at it that way. Man, it's sad that, you know, blacks had to go through that just to vote. And the test you're speaking about, it was called a literacy test. They would they would have blacks recite, like they would literally, they would have to take a test before they was able to vote. And if they couldn't pass that test, they couldn't vote, which was unconstitutional. Got the program about yeah, yeah. So they they started educating each other on just how to pass this test, 
and getting them smarter to be able to, to be able to vote. Because of course you know African Americans like we the majority. So we can really decide an election. If all of us get together and vote, we can really decide an election. So they knew that. So they was like, listen man, we can't have a lot of them vote. Like we still want to control who we want to be president. But you know, all that is decided by the people, man. The people, and that's what a lot of people have to understand. The people control the government, the people. So if the people come together and exercise their rights and, and you know, and they can, they can really affect who's in office. And I never looked at it that way. Another thing that they had the blacks do, some, some polls had the blacks recite the entire amendments before they can be able to vote. You know what I'm saying? And that's unconstitutional, man. That's unconstitutional. Like, you can't do people that way just for them to vote. So, remember it was um, it was a march with Dr. Martin Luther King. It was, it was 1965. They marched from Selma to Alabama. And it was on the voting, the voting rights. The voting rights. And that march was like, it was it was iconic. It was the most famous march, like in history, because of what was the, being done during that march to the African Americans. Like they was getting hosed, they was getting they was getting eaten by dogs, they was getting mauled by dogs, they was getting beaten, and and it was a peaceful march. I wasn't old enough to see it, but I see videos of it. It was tough to see some of them things, man. Just because they want to vote. This is what they got to go through just to vote. And this is when my, my, my views of voting change. Because if you look at some of these old videos, I mean, these people are getting beaten. And they're not even doing nothing. They're just marching the streets. They're just marching for their right to vote. And the people are getting beaten. They're getting, they getting tear gassed. Yeah, because they was they was marching to vote, and the tear yeah tear gas is, is when they it's like a gas that they shoot into the crowd, and chemicals are let out and it, and it makes your eye real teary, and and you can't really breathe the gas in, and I was like you know what, people went through that just for my ability to vote, and I have to exercise that right for that simple fact because I see people. I seen them, like I seen videos and all that, and I was like, wow, man. Like, Cause I imagine us going through that now. We can't, like I can't imagine nobody beating me cause I don't wanna go vote. We can change what's going on in our communities if we just get out and vote. And that's what a lot of people from where we from, where I'm from, they don't understand that. Yeah, we feel like it's certain, you know what I'm saying, things going on as far as rigging an election up or whatever. We feel that way, but we can change that. If all of us get together and vote, we can affect it. So you think it's important to vote? Yeah. Why you think it's important to vote? Uh, what is the most important reason why you think you should vote? What is the most important reason why you think you should vote? So you saying it's because you know what people went through for our right to vote. Yeah. Like right now, when we going to vote, we going to vote for the uh, for for the many elections. Like the, governor. the governor. This is see the governors are what really affect what goes on in your state. You know the pre the president is something else, but what what affects the state is what's going on in the election right now. You know what I'm saying? Because they the one who pass the laws and they the ones who do everything as far as state-wise. And I want y'all to see me going out and vote. So when y'all turn 18, y'all register to vote and y'all do the same thing. And that's how we, you know, keep keep everything up, keep up the awareness of voting is with parents. Because if we tell y'all it's important to vote, then naturally y'all gonna do it. But if you've never seen us vote, this and that, then, you know, chances are, Y'all not gonna feel that it's important. We gonna stand in line and we gonna go out and vote, man. But this line will be 
No, nah, no, nah, it's, it's not gonna be long because it's early voting. It's early voting, and the early voting goes on to November 6th. So, the line ain't gonna be long. We're gonna go right in and come right out. Huh? Yeah, a lot of people don't early vote, but a lot of people get out of the way so they won't have to go through the line. So, if you, and some people do it through mail too, they'll vote through, through mail. But I like to go in and walk in and have the whole voting experience. Because why? Somebody died for my opportunity, or, or got beaten and whipped for my opportunity to walk, stand in line, cast my ballot, and walk back out. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I wanna be proud of doing it. That's what I'm gonna do, son. And when it's your turn to vote, I want you to be proud and happy to do it because of everybody who sacrificed to give your for you to have this opportunity to do that. Alright? So that's how important it is to vote, man. So now, let's get out and let's go vote, man. Yep. So Jordan, me and Jordan are here now. Jordan is pumped to go vote. Hopefully they let him cast my ballot, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so how you feel about going in now? We're here. Awesome. You feel awesome. You don't look like you feel awesome. You feel awesome? Yeah, I feel good. I feel good too because I'm going in here and nobody can stop me because it's my right to vote. Nobody can stop me. All they can do is welcome me in. The amendment. Thanks to what? The amendment. Thanks to the 15th Amendment. And I can put that thing up for God's name. Thanks to the 15th Amendment, I can walk in with nobody saying nothing to me. Hey, we're going in the building, and it's time to go vote. Next time you see us, we're going to be voted and ready. Yes. All right, Jordan, so we voted, man. But it was a fun, it, it was, it was, it felt good. It felt good doing that, man. It felt good, actually. Being able to cast my ballot and with no hassle, everybody was nice. And um, in the back of my mind, I kept in mind people that have died for their for, for me to get this opportunity to be hassle free and cast my vote. So I'm glad you was able to see the experience, see how it goes. And when you get 18 or older, you take advantage of the opportunity that's given to you. To understand the people that came before you died for that right. So, vote in 2018, midterm elections, it's done. So now we back, man. As you can see, we had a good time. We learned a lot. Jordan got a chance to see me vote. We got a chance to um, walk through the lines. We got a chance to just see how the process is done. And this is something you're gonna remember forever. So uh, I'm grateful that I gave them this experience. That's what it's about, man. Giving our kids experience and passing knowledge and tools on to them to where they can um, that they can benefit them in the future. Because they won't know the importance of voting unless we tell them. So it's up to us as parents, as fathers, to really emphasize to our children how important it is to vote and how their vote it's gonna make a difference. To so all the people that came before me, that gave me this opportunity to go and vote, I thank you. To all the people that made the sacrifices in order for me to vote, I thank you. To all those people that marched and got eaten by dogs and got sprayed with water hose and got beaten, I thank you. For, for this reason is why I will exercise my, my right to vote because I know of the people that came before me. You had fun in this episode, because I did. I got a chance to, to, to have my son with me and um, go through the whole voting process. And most importantly, I got a chance to exercise my constitutional right with no hassle because I know people have died and got beaten over me just being able to just walk in there and choose who I want to choose and walk out. Simple as that. 
and I'm grateful for that experience. Before we end, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. The links are posted down below and the links are gonna be posted in the description box. So make sure you follow me and hopefully we all come together as a, as a community, as a race of people, not just you know blacks, but white, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, all, all of us come together as Americans and just make change in our communities because it starts with the people. Understand that it starts with the people. So when the people come together, that's when we can see real change start. So make sure you exercise your right to vote and be proud about it because people came before you and they died in order for you to do so. So go forward everybody. See you at the polls. Daddy? Yes. I'm a father.